been mortified, fortified, fitting like a motor car. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize, perpetuating war. Tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood, life's not niggas doing dope lines. I'm running to the cops. All right, so what we're doing, we just sprayed out an exterior garage uh, before the rains are coming, and now we're about to go in. We started the interior job yesterday, wrapped everything up. We're gonna go in now, give it a bit of a sand, give everything a key, a bit of etch, and then we're gonna get out the one-step prep. But what I'm doing, I've just wiped out the weather shield. Really, instead of washing everything, I've just wiped the inside of the cup, and I can Pretty much pour the one step straight in. And put the lid on. What we can do, because we're already still in spray, we haven't really put no air to it, I think we should be right, just to, um, Go straight, go straight away. This is just our undercoat as well, so it doesn't really matter that it's you know, gonna be a bit, a bit of a different shade. Um, and yeah, now what we can do, I can put the tip in, reverse it, it keeps it airtight on this end, We've put the cap on here. So it's really uh, sealed up, so we've got no air that are gonna go through into the gun. We've got no air that's gonna go into the cup and dry out the paint. We can bring this inside. We can sit it down, go through, sand everything. And then, hey, we can turn it straight, dust everything down, we can go straight into spray, go sp spraying it, start spraying out all the woodwork for the Dulux One Step Prep. We'll be probably running that FFLP 308 tip on this one too. So it's seriously this I can't express how good this thing is. You know, I'm not one of them people that just will say something for sales because it doesn't really affect me at all. I'm the one that likes to say the way it is and you know there's nothing worse than me saying hey this thing's the best and then getting a bunch of people to purchase it and then yeah getting phone calls saying hey dude you just you know it you're being fake about it. So yeah Transparency for me is number one, and if I say something's good, for me, I think it's bloody good. So yeah, this thing here is literally a game changer. It's so versatile, so easy. It's gravity fed. You can keep everything airtight, sealed away, and um, yeah, ready for spray day. Now we can come in. Put it over your shoulder too. Let's push these things to the limits. We've got some blue walls, we're gonna be putting on a bit of white paint, so obviously you see a lot easier. But hey, you all wanna know how far this thing can go, and we're gonna put it to the test. This thing's under pressure today. All right, we've got a full range of tips in here. We're gonna see how wide we can take this thing. So we'll start off, I'd say, we do have the new WRLP as well. This one's a one, two, three, one. We're not gonna be using this one. Even the Mark V will struggle with this. So yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely not built for this. But yeah, the, the LP515, these are the new LP yellow tips also. 517, we'll even bring it up a bit more. And then yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how far this thing can go, yeah. So let's, let's push it. Let's put it to its paces. All right, so I'm gonna give you a bit of a rundown on what tip sizes I like to use for different applications. If it's ceilings, walls, woodwork, gutters, fascias, uh, wall boards, depending on the product, of course, and depending on, there's a lot of factors. It come down to humidity, temperature, the surface. There's a lot of factors that come into it. Like I said, some days I can be using the exact same machine, exactly the same product, exactly the same tip, but the pressure might change between, you know, a, a hundred PSI all the way up to a thousand or 500 PSI. It all depends on, like I said, the conditions. And not even that, even the temperature of the paint. 
You know, if your paint is been sitting in the truck overnight and it's dropped down real low, that can highly impact the difference between if it's been sitting in your truck all day at a high heat. So everything comes into factor when we're painting. It's not ever black and white and you're never gonna get the same um, pressure, you know, if the conditions are different. So let's start off first. So my favorite tip, no matter what, the one I use the most for intricate work as in woodwork, handrails, uh, even if you're just coming in and you're blowing out corners, anything like that, is the 308, the FFL 308. It's my favorite tip when I'm fine tuning any woodwork or anything like that. It just puts that right amount on, it's not too heavy, you don't have to worry about sagging, you don't have to worry about any drama of, um, so this one's, this is it here, the 308. When it comes to ceilings, walls, interior, it usually depending on, like I said, a lot of the different conditions or the surface, but it's between usually a 514 all the way up to a 519. I usually sit between a 517. That's pretty much my favorite tip for ceilings and walls. It puts that right amount on for me personally. So I'm not sure if we have that one here, but I've definitely got it in the truck. Um, so. No, we don't have 517. But this one's the LP. Usually I'll be running the FFLP 517. I like the FFLP better than the LP because it's a fine finish tip where this is low pressure. So the FFLP is a fine finish low pressure where this is just a low pressure tip. So you will pump out a, a bit more paint with this one than what you will with your fine finish. So that's why I do recommend, or for me, like I said, I do use the FFL P517 tip. But we're gonna give this one a go today as well, and we're gonna run it through the quick shot. So that's that one. Personally for use, or just in general, if you're gonna run this machine, the quick shot, I'll always be running an FFLP tip. It's really designed for that. It atomizes the paint better, and you will provide a better finish where anything, you know, if you're running um, a 595, a, a 395 or anything upwards, you know, an LP will work perfectly fine also. So even an LP, awesome for interior flat, um, where you can put it on a bit heavier, where it is a bit of a grittier product as well. So um, yeah, you don't have anything, any dramas like that. Anywhere where you need a fine finish or you, when you're ever using a really smooth top coat paint, I always do recommend the FFLP fine finish tips. So now Graco also, when you have got the new yellow tip as well, but then what they've done with the new FFLP tips and your Diable UR LPs or just your LPs, they have made a whole broader range. So now they're bringing out a 106, which they didn't have before. You got a 408 where it only started at a 410 before as well. So now we've got a 408. So this one here, this might turn out to be one of my favorite tips for um, running, like if I'm going through blowing out interior doors, um, you know, garage doors outside, this one here might be the one, especially if you haven't got the best, if you've got low humidity, it's a cloudy day, um, and you know you don't wanna to put too much on where it's too heavy and it's gonna run because spraying metal, it can do that um, quite easy. So always a low pressure FFLP tip, a 408 is the way to go, because with your 308, it's, it, it, it's not gonna be as wide as what you want, um, but yeah, all depending on the job at hand. We've got the 206, which I didn't have as well. That always started at the 208, and then I went up from there as well. So they've pretty much dropped down a size on each one as well. So they've got the 106, the 206, and then it goes to the 408, and then it goes through to all your normal range also. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start cracking these open, and we're gonna put this thing for the test, and we're gonna see how far we can push this baby. With any handheld device or spray unit, it's always a must to, um, yeah, strain your paint. And it doesn't matter, like, I still always like the old school stockings. It's just, you know, just, I'm an old school type of dude. <laughs> Ooh. 
you know, one of the most thickest products. Oh yeah, she's smooth, really. All right, here we are, 106. I definitely recommend using, uh, yeah, a lacquer, a stain, or uh, yeah, thinned out clear or something like that for a 106. Okay, so a lot of the time as well, I get asked, hey, what tip do I use? Um, or pressure. Pressure is a main factor um, with obviously your finish. So I always talk about. It's not really what pressure I use. So I can't say, hey, I use 2000 PSI with this product, with this gun. It all depending on, like I said, the material, the weather, the equipment that you're using. Um, and the easiest way to find out or to control um, when you know what pressure is, is see how you've got your tailing down on each side. This is tailing, AKA train tracks. All right, so for me, I know my pressure is 100% sweet when I'm getting a nice even fan coming out on each side. It's fading out beautifully. You haven't got any thick runs or tracks like this. So you can see how thick it is on the sides and it's a bit thinner in the middle, okay? So I will go through a bit later on with the other tip when we atomize it a bit better and I'll show you exactly what I mean when you fine tune with your pressure, with your material, whatever you're using, how it will fade out on each side. So when you're doing each pass, when you're doing each pass, that you, you're not creating any lines or differentials between um, your microns or the buildup of your paint. So yeah, it, you always want it to overlap to like a, you know, 30 to a 50% overlap on each pass, and you want it to be seamless, and then you want it to fade into each other seamlessly. There we have it. So that's the 206. So stereo really, I want to be running the FFLP 206 through this. Same thing, any lacquer, clear material, um, stain, probably would work perfect. Like if you're staining a fence um, or anything like that, whatever it is, this would be pretty much ideal. So as you can see, we've got it turned up to a 10, so that's max it can go. Um, and we're still producing them train tracks. So a 206 is definitely still not designed running the Dulux One Step Prep, like I said, it's a very thick material as well. It's one of the thickest products on the market um, as a primer. It's very similar to the Dulux Weather Shield. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend a 206 for um, any really thick paint material. <laughs> Still get your tailored and like we said here everything's been completely strained um, we've completely cleaned the gun out so there's no debris or um, anything that can really determine the factor of what's going on with um, the paint and the material And I'm so happy that um, it runs perfectly through the quick shot. This is one of the, you know, one of the things that I'll be using a lot of the time, the tip, spraying out intricate woodwork. You're not dragging through leaves through property, the, through the house or anything like that. So you could just carry it around, spray all out your woodwork. Um, and I'll show you, this. see the difference between how I was saying with your pressure. When you know that you've got a nice atomization on each side where it's faded out like that without any thick edges or it's not stopping on a nice sharp edge like that, you know that this is the right pressure for the application and the material and the machine that you're using at the time. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put in the 408 and we're gonna see how it sprays. Sprayed out a full garage door this morning with it, 
and then we've been operating for probably I'd say a good two and a half hours and we haven't even gone down one bar. So that's what I'm saying, you can get a whole day, you know, off and on, a whole eight hour productive day of spraying with um, one full charge of the 18 slash 54 volt flexi. D volt battery, blah. So as we can see here, we're sort of maxing out with the tip, with the product, with the machine. So either you need to thin it out a little bit, depending on your material, or you are using a, a, a product that's too thick at the time for this machine. So I'd probably step it up to maybe a 410, um, and then it'll work fine. So next up, what we do, we'll be stepping it up, and we'll be putting in the LP515 tip, and we'll see how it goes, y'all. I just want to mention too, every tip that we're trying, we've got this maxed out of the 10. So we're running 2000 PSI. Oh yeah. So this is the LP515. And as you can see, very similar to the 308. I did do a double pass on this as well, remember. So where I shouldn't have, but yeah, you know, this is a double pass of the 3 r weight, so it would have been half of this. Um, this is a 4 r weight, and then we've got the LP515. But as you can see, perfect fade on each side. Um, you know, this would be a perfect tip for the product and material that we're running at the moment. So if, yeah, you wanted to go through and quickly blow out undercoat of door and frame. That's how quick it is, that's how simple it is. You can see a perfectly seamless finish the whole way through. Got no train tracks, we've got no thick edges, we've got no differential between microns or um, the product thickening or thinning on any angle. If you like the tip like this, like an LP515, and you want to switch it up to an FFLP, you would drop it down to a 514, or you step it up one to an FFLP516. If you're on an exterior job and you're painting amongst the bushes and the grass and everything like that, a lot of the time um, it, you can drop it and it's easily camouflaged into your surroundings. So having a bright yellow tip, um, it makes sense. And I even think, imagine if they'll glow in the dark. Now that'll be stepping it up even one more. Graco, glow in the dark tip, yo. Let's do it. So now we're going to push this thing to the limits and we're going to see if it can run the 1223. All right, keep in mind, these tips are green. The new ones will be coming out in yellow. This was a field test specifically for this test. All right, WR LP 1223. Let's do it. Hey. It pumps it out. I wouldn't say it gives you the nicest finish. Um, it doesn't atomize on each side the best, but you know, yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be using this for, for this machine. So keep in mind, they do recommend the max uh, tip size for this machine is 16th out. So we did push it to its limits. We need, we doubled, we doubled what, um, yeah, it specifies. But it pumped it, Joe, and I knew it would. I didn't say it will give you the best finish, but I knew it would pump it out because this machine packs a punch for um, what it is, Joe. Jump online to Go Industrial, hit up Jacob, type in. PBJ. 